Well, hello there, Washington State Picker here. Today I have a treat for you. It's got a Bill Bacardi lock. And uh, I've had this one as long as I've had all those other ones that Jeffrey Post sent me. I kind of saved his to the last to play with. And it's, uh, <clears throat> I've been playing with it for a few weeks, at least. And, uh, Gives me a lot, a lot of nice false sets. It, uh, it's one hell of a key cut for it, Bill. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I was just texting him about that. I, I measured his key cuts, and then he says, that's why it's called a challenge lock, my friend. Well, he's, he makes one hell of a challenge lock. Y'all warned me when you, I opened the package and had Bill Bacardi and Alabelle, he also now you got some real challenge locks, boy. Anyway, you weren't lying. Anyway, so before I get to picking on this and uh, doing another uh, whip video, which I fully intend on doing today, I have a challenge. My next challenge lock. I haven't been doing videos on these. This is called Abaddon, demon, old old Christian word for demon. I'm going to start naming my locks after different demons, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it'll make them tougher to pick. Uh, anyway, it's a sludge. Keyway's not too bad. I mean, I've got a whole selection of keys that I can use now. I bought a bunch of brand new ones off of eBay. <coughs> And some of the some of the cuts are pretty nasty, similar to Bill's. Anyway, it works. It's got a little tick in it. That's because I put a goodie in there. And so I don't try to gut the wrong lock. That's going over here by my coffee cup, and my coffee cup's going to shield it. I don't want another Bronx Lock Picker 60. Easy number three going on here. This is Bill Bacardi's cut. I believe it's a, I don't remember, one, six, two, anyway. It's a very tricky cut on this, and I'm going to remember this. I might, uh, when I get depth keys, I might cut one similar to this for my challenge locks and pin it up. Because it makes for a very interesting pick, I'll tell you guys. <coughs> I'm losing my voice, so bear with me. I'm going to try top of the keyway. I'm filming at a different angle than I'm used to. Uh, let me turn this. I can get in there a little better. Um, as soon as I touch pin 5, I get a good deep false set, usually. And as I work my way back, I end up losing the false set. I need a better pick than that Peterson here. Um, let's go with a, that Peterson was too... Too shallow. I'm going to go with a gem. I'm going to reset it. If I can get in there. There we go. A little bit of movement off of six. Four. Lost my false set. So I have a feeling there's some good T pins in here. <coughs> Probably a pin in pin that's trying to kick my ass too here. I'm going to try a... I picked at this thing with all my picks and uh, trying to find the right combo to get under these. These sludge. I think this is an SC4. Um, they have that warding that blocks me really, really good. So I may end up switching to bottom of the keyway. Here we go. Go back to the H1 by Peterson. It's just getting under pin one that's really difficult. See if I can't pop pin one. Right. Okay. Maybe pin one doesn't want to be set. Anyway, like I said, I've been working on this thing for a long time. Bottom of the keyway, top of the keyway. 
Peterson Sparrows. Even tried one of my home brews, which I'm going to do right now. I haven't picked on video with one of my home brews in a very, very long time. Do I have any deep ones that I haven't broke? Well, that one's kind of deep and it's kind of bent. Anyway. <coughs> You know, I see all these beautiful picks on the that you guys make, and I, I really want to start making them myself, but I think I'm just going to make them for me because, well, I sent Jimmy Lovejoy some I did an experiment with and tried thermal cycling, not knowing what the steel is, just knowing it's high carbon. That wasn't very smart. I can thermal cycle knives really well, but picks are so thin, it warped them, and... His broke, mine broke, so I'm done thermal cycling. I might just buy some good 1095 stock, go from there. So I'm familiar with 1095. I've used it for 12 years making knives, and I love it. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm all croupy. It's really smoky here, really bad. I woke up in the middle of the night, and I thought my house was on fire. But it was just stuff coming in through the AC unit. Try my other homebrew here. I'll get some use out of these. Maybe I'll break this one. Broke my other one on uh, EZ number three, Bronx Lock Picker 60, the same one I had that gutting catastrophe, gutting my uh, stock quick set. I watched that again last night. Um, it was just so funny. It was it was comedic. And, uh, come on. Okay, I didn't lose my false set that time on three. Three usually drops it. Thing about bottom of the keyway, it's hard to tell if you're getting counter from the actual core or your pick pushing down on your tensioner. I'm going to leave that shotgun in there. I'm going to go top. Oh, I just lost something. Oh, damn. That really sucks. Anyway, I've got a story about uh, <clears throat> how a bag of Doritos turned into a f fresh, brand new... <laughs> Rotisserie chicken, uh, fresh from the deli, and my, you know, my bag of chips was mostly eaten, and and somehow, uh, by the time I took my lunch bag home, got it home from work, my 45-minute drive, it turned into a brand new chicken, and uh, call that magic. I call it psychosis. Long story. Maybe when I'm more comfortable with y'all, I'll tell you the whole thing. Then y'all really think I'm crazy. This happened when I was in my 20s, though, so I have an excuse. Anyway, I'm not getting anywhere with this. I'm just going to go ahead and gut it so you guys don't get bored. Um, I've tried every which way but Sunday. Bill, you, you make an awesome lock, man. I think, uh, I think I will shudder if I see any more ears cross my mailbox. I'm going to get my Bobby Keys cool pinning tray here. Washington State Picker pinning tray. I've been using my big white one because I make challenge locks. I do two or three at a time. And it just got a little more slots on it. I love this red one of Bobby Keys though. So I'm going to, don't know if I'm going to move you. I'm going to have to move you. I'm going to try gutting you. Whoa, hello. I almost tipped over. I'm going to try gutting you. There we go. Through the camera. I almost tipped over. That would have been hilarious. Pinning tray right out in front. I'm going to do it uh, professional style here. I'm going to impress you all. Oh, shoot. Losing my uh, tools. 
Okay, so this has a clip. Thank goodness. I have been fighting. The screw on. <coughs> Slot screw on rear end. Tail pieces. Making challenge locks. I'm getting better at them. Just like I'm getting better at these clips. There we go. But still, when I try to do it on film, I usually get bit. I have a feeling there's a T-pin, so I'm going to shim it. Oh, I got a guy coming over, a friend of mine. I haven't seen him in a long time. He also plays with locks. His uh, wife told my girlfriend that he picks locks while watching movies, like I do. And so Anyway, he's going to come over and play. I'm going to show him how locks work. and Made him a little lock. It's called uh, Tom's Lock School. It's one I made for myself to learn serrated. And uh, anyway, I, I put spools in it for him, factory spools. He'll like it, I think. Um, he'll learn a lot. Okay. Did it without dumping. So right here, man, everything works smooth. When I uh, thread <clears throat> thread the cylinders like he's done, nope, there's no, there is slight threading. I don't know if you can see it in five, or is that undercutting? That must be undercutting. I don't see any threading. Okay. When I thread stuff, though, it becomes, uh, the pins get stuck. I had to throw away a perfectly good lock because I got the I broke the key off in it, could not get it out. I had threaded cylinders, strong springs. It was a Yale Yale cylinder. I have another one over here, one identical to this. Anyway, I really messed it up. So I'm not threading cores anymore. And if I do, I'm going to slightly sand them and which one went where. <coughs> I believe that went there. Because it's up, down, up, down. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right from looking at the key and studying the key this morning. And I'm dropping them in the wrong holes here. These are nice pins. So far we have a torpedo in uh, one, two standard, three standard, which really surprises me. Four is a serrated, five standard, and six is standard. That really surprises me. But he's got undercutting in all of them. I just saw that. You can see slight undercutting on all of them. Saw your video, Bill, on how you did that. Use that piece of tape on your uh, bit. So I went ahead and did that last night. I used duct tape. It didn't work as well, but I think I'm going to um, get some electrical tape. I don't have any in my apartment here. have some back home in my shop, but get some electrical tape and do it right. And uh, make myself a depth gauge that way. Okay. Pin one. I think it went skinny end down. It's a nice spool. Looks like a copper. Yep, small copper spring. Pin two. Driver two. Ooh, another another spool. That's where all those deep fault sets were coming. But somehow I could not get out of them. I love spools too, that's what's confusing me. It's funny how some locks, another one, another spool, but I think it went, I'm not sure, Bill, you have to tell me, did this, did the uh, narrower end go down or up? But it's funny how some locks, like Bronx Lock Picker 60, Easy Number 3, and Park Avenue, 
they had more work done than this does and I was able to pick them no problem this one I can't pick and I really think it's because of the key I really think the key cuts the ooh beautiful pen the key cuts the the whole idea and I I'm I've got depth keys for quick set I'm going to uh, get some depth keys for slodge and I'm going to start making my own keys because a lot ooh a lot of the keys that I make are uh, a lot of the locks I buy, I'm sorry, are, they're all copper springs. They're, I think, no, that might be a steel. And I'm missing one. There she goes. Okay. With my flash on, quit shaking. Looks like they're all copper. But anyway, I'm going to start making, I buy locks without keys. And so I use other keys that I have around and I duplicate them, but I'm going to start just cutting code, hard codes, like Mr. Bill Bacardi did to me. Anyway, guys, let me re-get this centered. There we go. Look at those beautiful pins. You got kind of a torpedo here. Standard stuff. Standard, threaded, standard, standard. That's a nice, nice threading. Spool, spool, spool. Kind of a hourglass spool. That's really cool looking. And then here's a multi, uh, looks like a serrated spool. And this one is a, a serrated spool. Bill McCurdy. 217, my hat's off to you, man. You're a, you're a great man. Great testament to this sport, and you make one hell of a mean-ass lock, and so I think this is going to go to Jake1973 with his challenge lock, and that be that. Thanks again. Be kind to one another. Please like, subscribe, and uh, if you're going to send me locks, make me some uh, baby locks to boost my ego, will you? Anyway, take care, guys.